Hello everyone, it's Robonic Zombie. Welcome back to the Cat Lady. So, last where we left off, we have to figure out how to get this body down because on this body is a key. Yeah, there's a key around her neck. Okay. So. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? I'm pretty lost, I can tell you that. Oh, there's a bird. Okay, so it definitely changed. It's a bunch of animal heads. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. Open the gate. Everything is locked! <laughs> okay. So, back this way. There's another bird. Okay, so the bird is doing the same thing that deer was doing, leading us in another one direction. I don't blame you, lady. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's going the other way. Nothing has changed. Okay, nothing has changed, so let me keep going. Let me go where the bird went. There's the bird. That way. Huh. Do you have a key on you? Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? I pull out the knife. Okay, I have a knife. Door. Unbolt. Oh, that's where... Okay. <laughs> Trippy. Okay, so... Untie. Let me see. Begin knife on the rope. Did it hit the floor or did it... Okay. I just can't see it. Now I can see it. Examine. I look like I'm just sleeping. Search pockets. Empty. Take the key. Okay. So. Okay. I don't remember exactly what this key was for. 
but well, I'm pretty sure we're going to find out. Gate key. Okay, there's no need for the music to change. Hello? Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I don't like your voice. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But, I'm curious, who do you think I am? Satan. Uh, death, an old lady who lives in the woods. Are you God, are you the devil? I'm going with, are you the devil? Are you... The devil. I know you don't believe in God. If there is no God, is there a devil? I'm something else entirely. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I am feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. <laughs> I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. Long enough to know everything about you. Nobody knows everything about me. Not even myself. What is this place? What will happen next? I want to know what happened next. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Please it. don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. <laughs> Strange lady. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Don't think this is a dream. Now we can talk properly, my dear. We just stepped a few feet inside. Yeah, this is a good question. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people will be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. No, I, I don't Who believe knows? you. I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. 
you would be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. That's a good question. We don't know why Susan took her life. The only thing she said on her suicide note was thanks for nothing. And that in the end, she only really cared for her cat. Here, is there anything else here? What do you want me to do? I have an idea of who she is. Let me ask if there's anyone else here. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Hi. I thought you liked being alone. That was Isn't a creepy that laugh. why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. I'm not going to select this one because I don't know why she took her life. Let me just go to what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? They're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. You just said... Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice piano. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face Five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. What? I'm a failure. Why'd you choose me? Those five people. Who are they? What makes you think I want to go back? <laughs> I'm not gonna choose that last one. Um... No, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Poor people, so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. Are you if an you older succeed, version of me? You will never feel broken again. I think I want to go back. I'm interested in what this would answer would bring back. Would bring. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. 
This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Okay, who are these people? Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. Okay. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth. And they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter. Serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person, but I also know that you don't want to suffer, and those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type. But I see your point. <laughs> I'm glad. And remember this. You are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. Go respawn! What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's black. <laughs> so it must be a weird dream. And go with the dream. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Ah! 
yes. It's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Crucified, all alone, in one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. What's over here? Okay, nothing over there. It's stuck in the cross? I suppose I could easily pull it out. Death question mark! Make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Yeah, tell me again about Can you tell me again about the parasites? Did you not listen, Susan? I'm sorry. It's a lot to take in, you know? Pay attention, Susan. Those people I call the parasites will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends. But don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. they want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth. And they all deserve to die. That's why I've prepared a special gift for you. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Okay, so don't trust anyone. Okay. okay fine, I'll do what you want. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. No, I don't trust you. I just don't have a choice in this matter. I I haven't really got anyone else. You shall not regret this, my dear. Lights up. <laughs> We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. Not the cats. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's easy. Anyone can do it. Yeah, anyone just can a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? 
Let the sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck, strange Fine. lady. Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. We'll blow out this candle. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Huh. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. So that's the sacrifice of soul. Someone killed them. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. Okay. Did I get back here? Getting closer. Okay, we prop the door boards now. I remembered we can do that. There's a hole. Emergency power switch danger. All this blood around the hole was someone hurt here. Yeah, sure, let's reach inside. Ouch. Oh, that's the blood that we needed. Can you just like cut off a finger, maybe? That was a sign that I'm not the first person to go through that. Yeah, I was about to mention I really like the music.
That was a gunshot. Okay. Chapter two. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself. But it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well... I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Hmm. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? I can't remember. I can't remember. Hmm. CT scan didn't show any permanent damage to your brain. I'd assume you still feel a bit confused. Your body went through a massive shock. You should soon be able to remember everything. Maybe after you've got some sleep we could talk again. You need plenty of rest, Susan. Your memory will come back soon. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Do I not have my arm anymore? 
<laughs> See, what had happened was... <laughs> It was someone else who told me not to worry about, and it was just a formality. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds, and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? No, you're I'm not. I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Bad dream. No, it doesn't dream like any other. N no, just a dream like any other. Oh, that's fine then. I nearly woke you up, you see. So you tossing and turning as I came in here. You looked like you were having a horrible nightmare. I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. Mm. I remember her name was Liz. <laughs> what was your name again? What was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. You're here a lot. <laughs> Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries do crazy hours here. Seriously. I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. Okay, we have to ask. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden I was on a field of barley. Woke up here I woke up here, and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. 
You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Yeah, question mark. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? <laughs> I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. <laughs> so she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. Yeah, how long have we been? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute. But they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. That's lovely. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Nope. Not gonna trust Dr. X. Tell me more about Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care, as long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left, and I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet you'll be more careful now. I'm pretty sure he's dead. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people. No, you but don't. But he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. Good to know. But... It's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now, anyway. 
I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Okay. Did you see this daughter of mine? No. Sorry, Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. <laughs> she was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. <laughs> or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. <laughs> you're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Okay, so I'll soon. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. <laughs> but do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Good answer. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as okay. honest as That's possible. That's a guy. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Okay, finally we can... Ah, uh, I've been waiting for the cutscenes to end. It's, this is a, gone for almost an hour. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't know it was just going to be a string of cutscenes. Um, so, this has been episode two, uh, the start of chapter two for the cat lady. I didn't know, it was, again, I didn't know it was just going to be a series of cutscenes. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.